Hey everyone, still got Hi. braces. Anyway, we're going. Voila. However, I don't in some other recent videos, almost as if we re we've recorded these out of order because I'm going to have jaw surgery soon. Yep. As of this recording, not as of this posting. <laughs> so, uh, one of the things that I do is I just look up random actors or random directors or... Or weird name films. Yeah, I think with I, I think I tend to do like IMDb, like just go through like random movies, and eventually I'll just get into a wormhole and cover the yellow. I was going to take it out. And the man with two brains, long story short, was one of them. <laughs> we needed a good laugh. After the weekend, we uh, had... I'm not sure we got a good laugh. Well, there were but... parts that were like, really? Okay, now, I know this isn't Steve Martin's first movie. I've seen some <clears throat> of his stand-up. Well, excuse me! Okay. That was not this. And I've also seen some of his uh, NBC specials. Um, Yeah, he did. King Tut? What no, that was SNL. Oh. But he did a whole thing. Oh, he did that on stage or whatever. Okay. So we just so I just decided, well, let me just look up weird movies or science maybe I was looking at some science fiction movies and I somehow Could found be. this. The Man with Two Brains. Directed <laughs> by Carl Reiner, written by Carl Reiner, Steve Martin, and George <coughs> Third Person. He only did two movies, and the reason why is because he died in 1986 as a result of a bee sting. Okay. So anyway, The Man with Two Brains. I was thinking at the <clears throat> beginning that it was going to be like a Jekyll and Hyde thing, where it was a guy who's had two brains, and so he's like, I hate, I hate everything. But I find beauty in life. And I thought, no. I thought it was going to be Frankenstein. Like Frankenstein. And you were correct. Well, I was close because of the condo. <laughs> so anyway, um, Steve Martin is performing brain surgery. And while this, or no, Steve Martin is giving an interview. He's a in world famous car. brain surgeon. Mm -hmm. And... His name, it's, I have no idea how you even here. No, it's just, <laughs> it's spelled just like it sounds. <laughs> I'd be shocked if that was on there. Yeah. H-F-U-H-R-U-H-U-R-R. Huffenhofer, yeah. Don't wear it out. Okay. I won't. <laughs> it reminds me of Date Movie when the guy's name was spelled exact was pronounced exactly like it's spelled. F U N K Y E R D O D O R. Funky Daughter. <laughs> okay. That was the name that was his okay. name in the movie. Okay. Or in, in Date Movie. I'm probably the only critic to ever positively mention a Friedberg and Seltzer movie. Anyway, no, I'm not the first one. Mm. So anyway, um, Kathleen Turner and you—you you know you're you're so good with actors. Why don't you name who that guy was that he Steve that she Martin. was married to? Oh, the first guy I recognized him, but I don't remember exactly who it was. Just give me a second. You're still in frame. David Warner. can't read over here yeah you can so anyway uh she's kathleen turner that's her name right yeah she's basically a gold digger <clears throat> yep so the current and... the current millionaire was not going to give her one penny she didn't know this as she was killing him Oh, but she while let this, him go ahead while and at the same time, while at the same time, she fed him like goldfish. 
No, his he's an angel fish. Is that poisonous or something? Uh, no, I don't think so. And she also had a goldfish. She also had a goldfish in her cup, in her glass. Hmm. Also, along the way, there's a cat who gets injured as well, and a and he dog. he scratches. He scratches a painting. A, a remoir. Ren, remoir. Of a, of a very beautiful woman. And then um, this dog, this poodle. <laughs> yeah. So, um, along the way, so while Steve Martin is performing brain surgery. No, he's doing the interview. No. Okay, okay yeah. I'm just saying a recurring gag that happens a couple times during surgery. Yeah, you'll get to that. Okay, then you talk for a little bit. So anyway, she's running away from the house as he's dying and having a fatal heart attack. And the dog <coughs> kills over too. And then she runs out in traffic. Steve Martin hits her. And then it's like one of those, <laughs> this is clearly a comedy, but it uses like, weird cartoon physics where where the car is where th he was saying look out look out no, and so she's like flying like 20 feet over it and then lands completely on her back not one drop of blood but it's a comedy and it's a cartoon it uses cartoon physics so whatever so well, then... what amazed me is the little girl he says, yes. "Come here, little girl." I was, I thought he was going to say, "Call nine one one." Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> but he actually says, "Call this emergency room and this doctor and this anesthesiologist and get the the ambulance to come here and have this IV and everything ready." Which um, little trivia for you? Um, they were like, "Did Carl Reiner was." A lot of people thought, or one person in an interview said, was that all on cue cards? And Carl Reiner said she was like four. She couldn't read. Mm, she memorized So it. I guess they had. she had to be told and that's how she, and she had to memorize. Or she had to repeat all of that. And she repeated it back to him. And then she said, I think it's a hematoma or hematoma. Hematoma or something. Mesothelioma. Mesothelioma. <laughs> that's asbestos yeah it wasn't that but anyway and, and then he's, he's like aha it I, is not I, you with your three years of kindergarten school get out of here you're, school, you know nothing yeah. it's a blah, 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 whatever it was and so yeah they go to, they go to surgery and he has like bunny ears or something as a and he prank. sees himself in a mirror and he's like this ain't funny. <laughs> and he throws it at the the interns or something. So he's doing surgery, and there were two bits that I found very funny. One was, okay, nurse, apply apply sweat to my lip. Nurse, remove sweat from my lip. <laughs> oh yeah, the other one was. Nurse, get that cat out of here. Every surgery he does, there's a cat in there. I don't know why. He jumps on the patient. Nurse, get the cat out of here. So anyway, um, he he's a widow. Mm -hmm. Steve Martin's character. Becca. Rebecca. Rebecca, but he calls her Becca. Yeah. Becca, get me a So sign. anyway. Yeah, he's no. He says, uh, he he falls in love with her because she's hot. I guess. Is that I think the, she that's reminded, the only reason. She reminded uh, yeah. him of Rebecca. And how he's, she had her hair and stuff. But yeah, so and she's really into um, sucking fingers. <laughs> and people, we are not changing it to make it kid friendly. We are being literal right now. What, I was using this finger. Yeah, put your finger down. It wasn't like I was using, an, no, wasn't like just, I was using just another finger. No, just Justin, stop! It's this finger. It's okay, people. You said she was in your room. She was. We have Coaster Kitty. Hey, see, say hi. Hi, 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 hi. Okay. So anyway, um... 
then there's then there's other things where her hand gets stuck and take your best guess as to how that happens and then there's a nurse who's like hmm yep the other hand has no life no whatever this hand is totally fine let's check this hand nope that's terrible what <laughs> So anyway, She's um, at you. <laughs> so anyway, then they, oh, Steve Martin's. She's staring at you. <laughs> you know, there's a reason why I like, why okay. I don't like the cats okay. around. Okay, okay, let's get going. Someone gets distracted. Yeah, I just love my kitty cats. Okay, go on. Do you want me to put one of them in the cage? No, just go on. How are you not going to be distracted? You're distracted right now. See, people? You're on my side, Stay. right? Stay. Stay. This will be okay, fun. Okay, come on. Let's do it. So anyway, uh, not listening to you. So anyway, they decide to... So they so they get married, and it's one of those things where it's like, he, she won't even kiss him on the lips on their wedding of... On their wedding. Oh, not here. So it's like quickly on the cheek or something. So then Steve Martin uh, carries her, carries her like across the threshold. Yeah. And like holds her, and then it cuts to black, and then it comes back, and he's like, <laughs> "They stayed there all night." I think Did I... you capture in a picture of the moment? <laughs> So then it's time, so then they think, oh, honeymoon time. Yeah. Not for him, though, because it, because she complains about a headache for six, six weeks. weeks. He's, like, extremely, like, <laughs> so, so then the chief of staff says, Everyone can tell that you're a little tense around here. Even I can tell. And then he's like, well, if you go to Austria, you could talk at a symposium and maybe make it like a honeymoon. Is that true? Yes. But what time would I leave? 12 o'clock today. But let me see your fingers oh that super glue really does hold mm -hmm. you should be able to do the brain surgery <laughs> that so was actually a scene in the movie here they go to europe hey, mm -hmm. austria austria and then uh Everyone is in love with Kathleen Turner. Oh, they just think how beautiful she is. And I'm like, you know, Ooh. she's not ugly, but, you know. <laughs> well, the movie was made in, what, the 70s? 80s. She did a movie with Romancing the Stone with Michael Douglas, and she did a couple other movies. I mean, and... Dolly Parton exists in this universe, and I think she's... Yeah, she's a... even mentioned yeah. in the... In the movie. Why do you think I said Dolly Parton's okay, mentioned okay, in this okay. universe? What did that mean to Wasn't you? Wasn't it a newspaper article when he opened uh, up his jacket? Dolly Parton wants to have his baby. <laughs> <laughs> Which we know it ain't going to happen. Yeah, that'd be a lucky dude. Um. Anyway, so... Then they... Uh... I don't know. What is it called? He goes to the symposium. No, no. It's called like Tantric or something where it's like that is the best not love making I've ever had. Oh. I thought you were going to discuss where he opens up the brain at the symposium. And, and three, he pulls out three lemons. Three lemons fall out. Oh. And he's like who took this brain? Oh, we should. And then we one should. of the doctors. Stop, stop. We forgot to mention. He does this, like, this kind of, like, screw, screwing brain. Wow, that sounded, that sounded inappropriate. But it's, 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 well. He doesn't cut a hole. Yeah, like, he, in like, the skull. He, he does, is. he does a cut like this. And then just, like, <laughs> eek, 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 eek. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. And then that's when we meet third Dr. Frankenstein. Yes. Which has a, is a what, condo or something? Mm-hmm. He has a condo. I don't know, it looked kind of fake to me. Do you want to explain why, or do you want to keep that a secret? The walls were paper thin, you know? <laughs> and styrofoam or something, but it looked like an actual, like... Condo building. No, it looked like an actual um castle. Well, when he opened the door... Complete because, with a moat? Because he says to the doctor, he says, Steve Martin says, Oh, I really thought you would have a castle. Because of the type of surgery or whatever he was doing. And then he yeah. opens the door and it looks like a castle. And he says, oh, the things my wife can do with a few throw pillows and rugs or something. And some staple guns. <laughs> <laughs> then there was another bit where it's like, ah, oh, yeah, but the problem is. The walls are so thin. No, no, it was something about closet space. And it says, ah, oh, yes. No matter what, you always buy more than you have space for. Yep. <laughs> so, so anyway. Then he introduces um, them to the brains. Brain and brain. What is brain? I have no idea what that's from, but I've heard it on some internet reviews. Hmm. I don't know. So anyway, they. So anyway, then he's um, singing to the statue. He's got to the statue of Ramon, Earth. his gardener, made like a ex gardener, a doll, like a Barbie doll that looked like his wife, Rebecca. Mm -hmm. And then the voice starts singing, and then he's like, You, you're, you're Rebecca. And I think her name was Anne. Hankolfling or something? Yeah. Another. <laughs> but he called her Rebecca. Why was. But her name was Anne. I'm like, huh? He was reminded because that was Rebecca in his song, remember? Anyway. Yeah, whatever it was. That would be like if I got married and my wife's name was. My wife's name was Courtney, but I called her Ketchup Girl because of that song. I say a hey ha na hey na na ma na ma nu ma na 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 na. Okay. Or if or if I got married to a girl named Court uh Sarah, and I said her name was Hey Macarena Girl. The brain came from somebody from the elevator murderer. No, the brain, the brain king, the brain was his ex, his deceased wife. No, it yes, wasn't it was. Rebecca. No. I'm pretty sure it was according to Wikipedia. It reminded him of Rebecca. But it kept talking. It answered. It explained. Right. They were the only two that could hear each other. Okay, fine. His whatever. Rebecca was very so nice anyway, in the body. So anyway, um, then when he fi then when he finds out that his step grandmother passed away and gave him like fifteen million, that's when uh, Kathleen Turner is like, "Oh, you know, I like you now." Yeah, because you have more money. Because you have money. So she was going to kill him off. But he was looking for somebody no, he, with Windex she, to kill she off. She wanted to. She wanted to get remarried. That way, when they divorced, he would be like he, she would get half or something. Well, because he was nullifying the marriage because nothing ever happened. A citizen nullification. No, divorce. no, no. What? It, something. Well, something did happen after she found out about the money. No. Something else happened. Right. She wanted to work. Mm hmm So now I know where that terrible vacation reboot got that idea. Mm, whatever. 
Um, I cook for you. I clean for you. Boy, that was later. She didn't do any of that. She barely spoke to him. And then he treated her yucky like she was treating him. So, so then, right back at you, lady. What happens next? Then they go to, like, this small cottage. I'm not, I don't remember why. Do you? You went way back. Because he took the brain from the other doctor and he wanted to spend time with it. Okay. So anyway, then they find out who the they find out who the killer is. Mm -hmm. Do not say. Nope. Nope. And then there's um there's uh, there's a pretty funny bit involving um drunk driving. Oh yeah. He had to prove that he was not drunk. Um there's That's all I'm going to say. Okay. There's another funny bit that involves a battering ram. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that they borrow. And you just got one of them on hand. And there's another funny bit <laughs> at the end that involves video games. Oh yeah. And quarters. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, it also involves pinball. So, you have to watch, you have to see the movie to know what we're talking about. Right. This is pretty good. I've seen some Steve Martin movies where I'm like, oh, God, when is this movie going to tell <sighs> a joke? Like, the jerk. Yeah, whatever. This was, this movie was pretty funny. It was pretty entertaining. Um, it had a lot of, I guess the term is absurdist gags. <laughs> and like pun humor and it was like I'll have a Tahiti Tahiti temple or something Tahiti tickle Tahiti tickler or whatever it is do you want that on fire or no no that's only for the tourists <laughs> but yeah there's a lot of visual gags there's a lot of puns there's a lot of like weird hilarious goofball absurdist stuff so I'd recommend this movie you yeah, not bad. For a rental. That's all I have to say. Anything else you want to say? Nope. Just watch it and have fun. Okay, join us next time where we take a look at one of Kay's selections. <gasps> oh, boy. Bye. Bye. How do you turn this off? I think right there. Oh, there. Push that button.